The ocean is the final frontier. It's black and cold and deep. So deep that we don't know what lurks in its depths. But that doesn't stop people from diving into the deep with cameras or looking at some of the stranger creatures that have been dredged up over the years. In this list, we're going to explore some of the strangest creatures found in the deepest levels of the ocean. The places where there is no light, no food, and no hope for survival. If you want to broaden your mind and deepen your understanding completely, let's dive deep into the ocean together and find the answer to your curious thoughts. Number 10. The Deep Sea Blob Sculpin is a deep-sea fish that lives in the Pacific Ocean at depths of up to 3,000 meters. They are found in warm waters and are rarely seen by humans. They can grow up to 40 centimeters in length and weigh up to 1 kilogram. The males have swollen lips which they use to attract females during mating season. To survive, the blobfish hangs out directly above the ocean floor moving its mouth to catch food. It feeds primarily on mollusks and crabs that happen to cross its path. Number 9. Sea Pigs You've probably heard of seahorses, but have you heard of sea pigs? Sea pigs are a genus of sea slugs, also known as nudibranchs, which are marine gastropod mollusks. They are found in the Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean and Indian Ocean. The name a sea pig comes from their physical resemblance to pigs with a large body and protruding eyes. Sea pigs are carnivorous creatures that feed on sponges and other soft-bodied organisms like sea anemones and coral polyps. They have long arms called rhinophores that help them find food underwater using touch receptors located at their tips. These creatures have no teeth. Instead, they use their tongues to scrape off pieces of their prey before swallowing them whole. Number 8. The Goblin Shark The Goblin Shark is a rare deep-sea shark that lives in the Pacific Ocean and has a unique, flat head. It has long, thin jaws lined with sharp teeth, which it uses to hunt squid and other small fish. The goblin shark looks like it's from another planet. You might even say it's an alien. But don't let this scary appearance fool you, the goblin shark is actually one of the most gentle sharks in its family. Goblin sharks are typically found at depths between 984 feet to 3,281 feet. They live in temperate waters around Japan and Australia. Though they prefer deeper waters than most other sharks, they have been seen near the surface at times as well. The goblin shark's diet consists mainly of bony fish, squid, and crustaceans such as crabs and lobsters. Its teeth are unique in that they have multiple points on them instead of just one point like most sharks do. This allows it to crush prey much easier than other sharks' teeth would allow them to. Number 7. The Proboscis Worm The Proboscis Worm is a type of marine invertebrate that lives in the waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. This worm is known for its distinctive red coloration, which it uses to scare off predators and attract mates. The proboscis worm is one of the few species of marine invertebrates that has a distinct gender. The male worms are much smaller than the females, and they have bright red bodies with black heads and eyes. The females are much larger than the males, but they also have a distinctive red appearance. Additionally, they have two long appendages sticking out from their head called horns or proboscises. These proboscises are used to sting predators who try to eat them. 
It is known for its ability to change colors based on its mood, but it can also change colors in order to camouflage itself from predators or prey. The worms also have a proboscis that they use to grasp food with, and their diet consists mainly of small crustaceans. Number 6. The Zombie Worm The zombie worm is a species of marine tube worm that lives on whale bones in the ocean. It is one of the first examples of animals that have evolved to eat other dead organisms, but does not need sunlight or oxygen to survive. It was discovered by a group of researchers during an expedition off the coast of California. A small colony was found living in the skull of a sperm whale carcass that had sunk to the bottom of the ocean floor, after being attacked by orcas. The worms have a unique way of extracting nutrients from their hosts. They use tiny teeth called roots, which extend into the bone and absorb nutrients directly from it instead of having to rely on photosynthesis like most plants do. This makes them extremely efficient at taking food from their host, meaning they can support much larger colonies than other species like them who are dependent for survival such as tube worms. Zombie worms do not directly consume mineral bones. Instead, they digest fats within the bone. However, because they lack a mouth and a stomach, their eating habits are quite different from ours. They secrete an acid from their skin that dissolves bone, releasing trapped fat and protein. Number 5. The Barrelli. The Barrelli is a deep-sea fish that lives at depths of up to 2,000 meters. It has a transparent head with bioluminescent spots on its eyes, and a transparent body that is almost entirely filled with water. Barrel eyes have obvious physical adaptations, but how they help them survive remains a mystery. They get their name from their unusual eyes, which are large, bright green, and tube-shaped and point upward at a 90-degree angle. Zooplankton, microscopic animals abundant in the ocean, are most likely the main source of food for barrel eyes. Number 4. Croyer's Deep Sea Anglerfish Croyer's Deep Sea Anglerfish live in very deep water between 400 and 2,000 meters below the surface in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. Croyer's Deep Sea Anglerfish is a small, bioluminescent fish that lives in the ocean. It uses its extraordinary ability to produce light from its dorsal fin and lure prey into its mouth as a defense mechanism. The males and females have one of the strangest relationships in the animal kingdom. When a male finds a female, he bites into her side and fuses to her forever, taking nutrients from her blood and fertilizing any eggs that she produces. This saves the species from having to find each other at breeding time, which is very difficult in their dark habitat. Number 3. Giant Isopod Giant isopods are a type of crustacean that lives in the deep sea, but can also be found clinging to rocks and other structures on the ocean floor. They have a flattened body and long legs, which make them look like pill bugs or other terrestrial insects. The giant isopod's scientific name is Bathonomus giganteus, which means terrible swimmer. The name was given to the creature by fishermen who reported seeing it washed up on shore during storms. The giant isopod has been known to grow up to 16 inches long. Giant isopods are scavengers and feed on dead fish, shrimp, and other crustaceans. They'll even eat each other if they're hungry enough. When there's nothing else around for them to eat, they may resort to cannibalism as well. Giant isopods are usually found near Antarctica or in deep waters off New Zealand and Australia. 
they don't live very long. Only about five years. Number 2. Sea Angel. Sea angels are a species of sea slug that lives in the water. They are a type of nudibranch, a marine gastropod mollusk, and they live on the floor of the ocean at depths of up to 4,200 meters below sea level. The name sea angel comes from their unusual appearance, which includes translucent wings that look like they belong on an angel. The most distinctive characteristic of sea angels is their ability to fly through water. Their tiny wings are strong enough to propel them through currents or waves, but they can't stay airborne for long periods of time because their bodies don't contain enough gas to sustain them for long periods without oxygen intake. Sea angels feed on small crustaceans like amphipods. They use their wings as nets when hunting for food, and then retract them again after capturing their prey so they can eat it without getting caught themselves. Number 1. Giant Siphonophore A giant siphonophore can grow to 130 feet in length. Longer than a blue whale. They are made up of thousands of tiny organisms called zooids that work together as one large animal. A siphonophore's body is made up of two chambers, one for the head and another for the tail. The chamber for the head has a mouth and tentacles, and the tail end has a pumping organ called a gastrozoid. This organ uses muscles to move water through its body, allowing it to swim or float through the ocean. Each animal is made up of many different creatures, so each colony has its own unique characteristics. The colony includes both males and females and is actually one long organism with multiple branches. The tentacles have stinging cells called nematocysts that can paralyze or kill prey. The lifespan of siphonophores is poorly studied. Some species may live for 10 years or longer. The largest known specimen was probably 150 feet long. Many species are bioluminescent, which means they can emit light. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and comment and let us know your thoughts. Subscribe now for weekly videos where we answer all your curious thoughts.